What's going on, y'all? So, came back from a uh, Patapsco flea market down, in, you know, in Baltimore City. Um, so, I picked up this refurbished laptop, HP Pavilion right here. Um, it does have eight gigabytes of RAM and I have one terabyte. So, look at, as you can see on this one. Also, the screen's full high definition. It got a backlit keyboard. So I did like that. As far as, um, you know what I mean? On the black keys, that's real nice. 15.6 inches. I'm trying to charge it up right now. Um, let me see what the camera look like. The camera price 720. Only thing about this laptop right now, I'm having a little problem with just the updating it. So, mm -hmm. see that right there, 1280, 30 frames per second. This one actually cool too, it's still grainy though, but, you know, um, that's pretty cool. So that's really about it. It's just I'm trying to update it. Um, the Microsoft this got Windows 10. So let me show y'all. Um, you know the guy seemed cool. So I told him like if anything go wrong, he'll see me. He'll see me tomorrow, which is Sunday. Um, this is all the information up kind of you know up on here really. Um, but it's pretty, it's pretty decent though. And all the reason I was buy, I, I wanted to buy one of these because I'm gonna be honest, I was gonna get a couple of a uh, couple of uh, HP Elite books or Pro books on Amazon because Amazon got this thing where like you can play around with it in 90 days. If you don't like it, you can bring it back or ship it back. But what I noticed about a lot of these older laptops, you know. And here go the ports on here too as well. I don't got no USB, but um, USB Type C on here. But you got the headphone jack. This still got the little CD. Look at this. I don't know if they still be. So yeah, this is definitely an old one. You got two more HDMI. It comes with HDMI. And I got my uh, my mouse plugged in because I usually like to use a mouse. Um. Yeah, only reason I wanted to get one of these because what I just showed y'all, like I said, eight gigabytes of RAM, one terabyte, 15.6 inches. I really like a 14 inch, but this one have a backlit keyboard and um the full high definition screen. That's really about what all I wanted. You know, full high definition screen, backlit keyboard, um, eight gigabytes of RAM is cool, 512 or one terabyte. Is, you see what I'm saying? That's really what I really wanted. I wanted it to be an i5, which this is i5, a little older, but it got Windows 10 on there. And Windows 10, it wasn't nothing too wrong with it. I actually had the HP Pro book. I don't know. I mean, I sold it because I only paid like 150 for that one as well. So I sold that one. This is still trying to update. I sold that one for $100, I, but I got it at the flea market around my way. A guy only charged me like 150 160 so the, another, like I said, Apatapsco flea market for this laptop, the guy charged me 150 You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, just the 150 around that, around that price range, I, I noticed, you know, even when you see these on Amazon, they run in like $170, $200. This one, like I said, it seemed like it's kind of updating, but it's taking, it's taking its time. Like I said, I'm trying to update this Microsoft. You know, I'm going to see how, like I said... Cause I was about to just try to rush back up there, cause that flea flea market closed at five. It's four right now. I ain't like I drive anything. That's all we over. Uh, I'm all be in the county. That's over in South Baltimore. But I was about to tell a guy like, yo, just give my money back, man. Like, this ain't this ain't hitting. It's a little on the slow side. But it's crazy on the receipt. It's talking about like no refunds, no cash back. It's, it look like it said replace or repair. So I don't know, man. So. I'm going to keep y'all updated and let y'all know about this laptop. Let me know, do y'all be buying uh, refurbished
products because I'll be scared sometimes. You know, when I sell stuff, I'll be honest, man. I'm like, this is the problem with this or this ain't going this way or yeah. A lot of stuff I'll be having be brand new anyway because I usually play around with it and I just sell it. Like I play around with it for a couple months or maybe a couple of weeks and just sell it. So a lot of my stuff be actually brand new. And it's crazy. There was another guy over there. He was talking to the guy. You know, they were selling me the laptop, and this other older guy was like, "Yeah, man, I told you, man, I got a, I got a laptop stacked in the closet like this much." And when I when I start when he said that, I started just thinking about my nephew Simba, because I remember my nephew was telling uh, that he used to gut out houses and stuff. You know, if anybody y'all know anybody that be gutting out houses and things like that, he said they would find stuff in their laptops, you know, TVs, VCRs, or whatever CDs or something. They say, like, they'll find a lot of stuff in there. A lot of times, too, man, a lot of older people, grandparents and stuff, be having laptops, and certain people pass away. And, you know what I mean? It just be a lot going on where a lot of people don't use their laptops no more. And a lot of them old laptops be still good, though. Like, when we was in there, the, the guy was fixing this guy Dell laptop. I don't know what type of laptop it was, but, yo, that keyboard was mean on there. It looked real nice, and he was saying, like, the, the laptop he was he was fixing that guy laptop he said that's the type of laptop they use in like the military or something like like that that laptop was nice it was real thick and all that too like it was small but it was thick but the keyboards and the, like yo it looked crazy like it looked like some type of keyboard that you could hack into something you know like like you see on the video games or type of movies like it was one of those type of laptops like that shit was crazy but um. Yeah, that's the only reason, like I said, I wanted to play around with these because a lot, like, now look at this one right here. I went to go get this one again. This is the HP 14-inch, um, you know, Intel Core i5. This got 8 gigabytes of RAM, 256 on the SSD. And um, this lack a lot of stuff that, you know, far as what I just named. Like I said, full high definition. This is 1336, you know what I mean? Not full high definition. Backlit keyboard, no backlit keyboard. Both of them got 8 gigabytes of RAM. This got 256. This got 1 terabyte. You know what I'm saying? Of course, it got your USB and stuff like that. It's 14 inch, and this one a little lighter as well. But it lacks in a lot of stuff with that. Now, I see this is a 1080 camera. That's a 720 camera. So, I notice, you know, a lot of brand new stuff that they be trying to come out with. It just seemed like they dumbing it down for, a little, you know. And then, like I said, 150 versus $422. There's a lot going on with this stuff, man. But I'll keep y'all updated and let y'all know what's up with this laptop when it finally uh, update. The charging on here take it slow as well. So that hopefully that means the battery good. Um, but yeah, man, I'm trying to... This, this this just pending. I don't know what's going on with this. This is not trying to do nothing. But if I get anything, if it get rolling and stuff like that. And let me see. Like I said, I'm typing in stuff, man. It's just, I don't know, yo. Like, what the hell going on? And a lot of these guys that, that you know, know what goes on, you know, when um, they sell these laptops. It's just like, come on, man. You know, we could have had all this up. And see, I noticed this, too. It always keeps saying, like, not responding. Like, I don't like that. Like I said, I got the new Wi-Fi box. You know, and stuff, but I don't like all that. You keep doing that. That's why I'm trying to update everything to see to get it rolling, but it's just real on the slow side and they keep on trying to load up and I don't know. So I do not like all that. At all one bit. So yeah, man, I'll let y'all know what's going on with this laptop. Like I said, this is the HP Pavilion. I'm going to do some research on it. Then I could put the title of the name up there so y'all can see this. But um, as you can see, too, it has scratches and stuff on here, too, as well. So scratches all up here. No scratches on the screen. You know, so somebody, somebody definitely had this one for a while. Yeah, there's a lot of a couple scratches around here on the hinges and all that. So like I said, if it was going to run good, I would just put some stickers on here. I ain't worried about, you know what I mean? It's a big difference, too. Look at that. I wasn't going to worry about none of that. Look at that. That's why I like the 14 inch ones, man. So this is 15.6. Yeah, it's crazy. 
All right, your boy to the loop. Appreciate y'all watching, man. Let me keep y'all updated. See how this thing go. You know, and another thing too. Um, I just be thinking about stuff, man. Cause uh, you know, I don't be trying to argue with anybody. And I, you know, I was trying to talk to the guy. I was trying to get a mutual understanding and you know a good vibe from him. Just letting him know, like yo. Because you aren't really supposed to play with nobody money like that. You know, if something wrong or if it's slow or something like that, just let me know. He could have let me know that. Because I, I was telling him, like, I watch a little TV. I might edit on Sony Vegas. Uh, he, he was saying, like, oh, you need an Intel. I mean, you need an Intel Core i7. So I was like, yeah, I really just like the HPs because I like the keyboards and things like that. I really wanted to stick with the HP brand. Um, He had a couple HPs, but they was not cutting on. I think one of them put the charger in and just completely cut off. Like, you know, as soon as you unplug the charger, it just cut off. One of them, he had an all black one that looked real nice. That, that was like 17 inch, but that didn't even cut on. So, but, um, I guess he might got some more because he had a whole bunch of them. So he might got some more again. I don't know. I ain't trying to really start no problems or arguing and fuss and all this. You know, they got security in there, but it's like, you know, you know what I mean? What goes around comes around. You're going to get your money anyway. But if I got to take a loss, you know, I'm definitely gonna look at him in his eyes with the, with the, you know, with that dead look, and be like, "You got that one, man. Don't even worry about it." You know, because like I said, I, you know, 150 dollars. Not saying that's chump change, but I could have really put that to what I was going to do. That's what I kind of should have did. Just, you know, because I was just going to get a bulk of laptops, like three or four of them, and just send them to my house and play around with them and see which one I would have liked it. Because if I didn't like them, I could just send them back to Amazon. With this, is like. You know, because it goes by his word. I told him, like, yo, like, if any, everything not really what it is, I'm going to see you tomorrow. You know, he's like, all right, man, cool, and all that. But, like, on a, he made sure he wrote down no cash back, you know, replace or just repair. I ain't with all that. Because now, like, if you really can't find nothing for me, I don't got, you know, just something. Even if he gave me half of it back. I, you know, it is what it is with that one, man. But I'll see what type of guy he is, and I'll keep y'all updated about that. Because I'm damn sure I'm going to make a video about it. So I'll keep you updated on that. It's your boy Tudor. Peace.